sorry sir how to export the charts and shift file from google earth engine yeah i will go the further one by one so in this time i want to show you that how we can easily make the time series chart and i think i already show you the one kind of uh, process to make the time series chart using a uh, ready made data set only uh, okay it will not okay i not show you that okay so in this time we talk about the time series chart okay basically uh, okay just i try to open a new code editor and show you that how we can easily make the time series chart so basically we can get the two types time series chart one is the ready made data set another is the unready made data set okay so i also write the comment time series we can get the two types one is a uh, ready made ready made data set another is unready made data set okay and now what is the ready made data set ready made data set mainly uh, this data set have already create the band suppose when you can see the other data set suppose you can simply click on the modis here you can see modis have already create this type of band suppose it's the one kind of data set you can see they are already created the percent tree cover percent non tree cover vegetation so it's create the already create the band and when you want to use this type of data you don't need to put you don't need to put any kind of calculation for calculate the percent of tree cover or percent non tree cover vegetation not only for that you can check the other data set such as all of data set suppose you can see the suppose you can see it's the another data set uh, it's the uh, temperature data set land surface temperature mainly when you want to use this data set you don't need to put any kinds of any kinds of uh, band okay so it show you the result only for this uh, from the band we can get the result from this band so it show the lst day one kilometer so when i use this band then i can easily get the lst so it's one kind of ready made data set so this type of ready made data set we can easily make the time series chart but unready made data set suppose you can see this type of unready made data set suppose in this time you can see i use the image and further i just use the formula n d w i and extract the water body from here so it's a unready made data set not ready made but you can see here in the modis we find out the lot of ready made data set it can be lst it can be evapotranspiration it can be ndvi okay so it can be gross primary production gpp npp you can see all of those things are ready made data set we can easily access suppose you can see the it's another vegetation ndvi evi so in this time it's called the ready made data set and ready made data set when you want to use you don't need to put any kinds of formula you don't need to put any kinds of equation because it's a ready made you can see it show the band about the ndvi so in this time we are not put any kinds of formula such as near minus rate divided by near plus rate this type of formula we, we don't need to put in here because it's a ready made data set also evi it also ready made already available this band so we can use the two types of method when you want to use the ready made and unready made data set so in this time i will discuss about the ready made data set first of all and then talk about the unready made data set for creating the time series chart so let's go we try to discuss so first of all uh, i just try to show you that suppose one kind of data set from the ready made data set and all of ready made data set we have to use the same approach for creating the time series chart suppose i want to show you the one data set for that uh, temperature i want to use it and then make the time series chart for temperature okay so basically you can see it's one kind of data set it is the temperature and emissivity data daily we can get the data set from the daily and it's the globally av available so now we want to use this data set and make the time series chart okay so let's go how we can create the time series chart about and you are also apply the same approach for any kind of 
ready-made data set. It can be evaporative aspiration, it can be NDVI, it can be EVI, it can be GPP or MPP. So any kind of data set, we are use the same approach. So let's go. I simply copy the artisan snippet from here. And then paste. Then give a name. I put, you can put any name as a name. I put the name, suppose it's a uh, LST. Okay. So now this is my data set. This data set, I stored it in this variable LST. And now I want to select. So I want to select this specific band. So I want to select this specific band mainly LST the one kilometer. I simply copy this band name and then paste here. Further, I simply put the filter date function. You can easily put your specific time or a specific time. Suppose I want to put the time for year of 2023, uh, first January from year of 2023, uh, suppose December 31. So now I want to check simply print that print this LST and use the size function to determine how many image collection is available. So here you can say I can get the total 364. Mainly every single day I can get the one data. One year equal to 365 or 64 days. So that's why this data set provide me total 364 data. Okay, 364 emails. So now I this is my image collection. Okay, I want to use this image collection and make the time series chart. So let's go how we can easily create. For time series chart, when you want to create, we have to use the function ui dot chart dot image dot series. And you can check about the argument. First argument is the image collection. Mainly when you want to make time series chart, you have to need the image collection. Okay. Second, region. Region mainly it's your specific boundary. It's your shape file. It's your region of interest. Reducer in this time. I want to calculate the average temperature or maximum temperature in a one day or minimum temperature in a one day. A scale is the resolution. X property mainly it's the default system time start. So now I fill up all of this argument one by one. So let's go. So just make a curly bracket start and also curly bracket in in here. First of all, image collection. Okay. You can say I already make the image collection 364 image collection. It is stored in this variable LST. I simply copy and paste. Then region. Region mainly it's your shape file boundary. Suppose I need the result for suppose Dhaka city. I simply import and I put the name. Suppose it's a ROI. You can put any name. I put the ROI and further I put the region name. As a ROI, so put at the ROI. Reducer in this time, in the one day, you want to calculate the average temperature or maximum temperature or minimum temperature. I want to calculate the suppose average temperature in one day. So user ee dot reducer dot mean. So now I can get the average. Suppose you want to need the maximum temperature in one day, so put at the max. Suppose you need the minimum temperature, put at the mean. Then we can get the minimum temperature in a one day. I want to calculate that suppose average mean. And then a scale mainly it's the resolution of your satellite imagery. So in this time, what is the resolution? We can get the resolution of the 1000 meter. Simply copy and then use it as a scale. And X property, so mainly it's the system time start. So put here system, system time start system time start means that i already define a time so i want to start this time series chart using my system so now all of those things just stored in a variable i just put the variable name suppose chart and then further print that so simply print this chart click the run so now it's generating the time series chart for daily in dhaka city in year of 2023 so you can find out this type of result here you can see it show the wrong result it show that uh, 14,000 15,000 16,000 also you can see this type of result it show that because in this time we also need to reproject it this data okay 
and how I can reproject. So for reprojecting data, they are already provide some scale. You can see for reprojected, they are already have some scale. So in this time when I reprojected these things, then I can get the better result or proper LST map result. So now how I can use these things? Suppose I want to use at the 0 0.02. This is my scale. This scale I want to use and reproject it. Then I can get the better result. For reprojecting these things, first of all, I need to create a function. So just I create a function in here. Modis. How can you use the Modis data set and then make the LST? We already make the LST time series chart from the Modis. And next class, we try to discuss about the Landsat imagery. How can you make the use the Landsat imagery and make the uh, Landsat LST map and also make the time series chart using the Landsat imagery? So let's go. We try to discuss about that for LST visualization. Okay. So here you can say I already make the time series chart but I not visualize my map. So how I can visualize this map? It's very easy for visualizing this map. So just take a variable. I put the variable and suppose um, LST. Suppose I want to show the average, average map of LST. So I simply call the LST. This is my image collection, mainly 364 image collection. This 364 image collection I need to reduce. So just use that, that uh, reduce and use that ee dot reducer dot suppose mean. Okay. And further, it clip with my study area. Suppose I want to put here the study area is the ROI. So I just put here that ROI. And now I want to show the result. So just use here map dot add layer. And call the LST Everest. And then further also focus the center of this view. So map dot center object of ROI. So now it shows the result of LST map in Dhaka City. It loaded. We can get this type of map. So I want to add the visualization. So for the visualization, uh, you can simply click on here. And further, we are just uh, stressing 98%. And further, add the plated. Suppose I want to show the. You can choose any color. Suppose I put here this type of uh, uh, blue color for low temperature. Get it then blue. I want to show this type of suppose uh yellow color and high temperature show this type of uh red color okay or any combination you can use and apply it so now we can get this type of result you can see this map is not so much good because this pixel area is so high this pixel is the 1000 meter pixel area mainly 1000 meter so for that for the a small region we did not get the better result when you want to use the modis for lst you did not get the better result for that small region you have to use the landsat imagery because landsat is the only for the 30 meter pixel area and in this time it show it show the very long pixel area it show that 1000 meter pixel area so that's why we can get this type of result okay, for the small region for the small region all time you try to use the landsat imagery then you can get the better result so for this region i want i will show you that previous next class how you can use the landsat imagery but when you want to use the for big region suppose i want to work for the whole country boundary of bangladesh then we also get the better map suppose i just simply uh, copy the i simply copy the table and this table i want to clip with that now I can get the result for the whole country boundary of Bangladesh. So now we also get the better result because it's a big area and I also use at the high, uh, mainly high pixel area imagery. So that's why in this time we also get the very better map when you want to use the big pixel area with your big area. Suppose in this time whole Bangladesh. Okay. Then we also get the more better result. But for the small region where you want to apply the high pixel area, then we did not get the better map. 
So in this time, I have to show at the visualization for the whole country boundary of Bangladesh. Click on here, and then custom is stressing at ninety eight percent, and further I have to add here the color. Suppose uh, blue. Then put here that suppose green. Suppose then put here that suppose yellow. And suppose put here that uh, red. So I then apply it. So now we can get this type of map. You can see it look more better. Okay, than a small region. For the small region, it's the stressing. Suppose this pixel area is will be enlarged. But in this time we can get this type of map, and it look more realistic. Okay, here you can see, uh, we can get this type of region, basically blue color. It show the low temperature, okay, and this type of uh, red color identify about the high temperature region, okay. So now we can easily export this map, and further you can simply import. Suppose just click on the import, and copy this this param from. Copy this copy and further apply after the object name. So just simply put and put the layer name, suppose LST. So now it will be set with that. And further, if you want, you can also export this map, the same approach. So suppose export image to try. Okay, and put all of those arguments one by one. Just make a curly bracket start and also curly bracket. In, in here okay and further we are just put the image so basically um image which image you want to download i want to export this map and this map is stored it in a variable what's the variable name lst average simply copy and paste here then description you can put any name as a description without a space i put the name suppose lst lst pd Folder, you can put any folder name. I put the folder name, suppose GE. File name prefix, you can put any name. Uh, it's not neat, even the name of that. Then region, basically, it's a shape value variable name. This is table. Basically, table is stored at the Bangladesh country boundary. And scale is mainly it's the 1000 meter. And other, not any of that, it's not neat. So now further click the run and we can easily export this map from here and then we can easily make the map in art map software which i already show you that in the previous class okay so this is the process about that for uh, make the lst map using modis basically modis we can get the two types of data one is the daily another is the eight day average so it is the daily data set as well as if you want you can also use the modis eight day average same approach you also try so in this time, okay, I hope you can easily got this idea. Anyone, any question or any confusion?